All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this Tasty Bite Organic Chickpea Tikka Masala. All right, so this normal price, $14.79. It was $3.80 off, so basically $11. All right, let's take a look. So it's a six-pack, microwave for 60 seconds. It's mild, right? Hearty chickpeas, corn, and carrots in a creamy tomato sauce flavored with uh, fenugreek leaves. I'm not sure what that is. Made with plants, USDA organic, non-GMO, right? Authentic, awesome Indian. All right. Um, this stuff is not refrigerated. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the packaging. It's just cardboard box. And yeah, right? Gluten-free, vegan, and kosher. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. There's the UPC code on the bottom there. Okay, here you go. Uh... All right, Tasty Bite was born in India over 25 years ago and is bursting with authentic, authentic, authentically awesome, bold flavors and ingredients. Spice up your daily routine by taking your taste buds on a journey to India with a fast, tasty, and nutritional, uh, nutritious meal. Tasty Bite is 100% committed to sustainable farming practices. For meal inspiration and recipe ideas, visit tastybite.com. All right, try, ta try the tasty samosa, samosa chaat recipe using organic chickpea tikka masala. Right, so you can microwave it or on a stove. I'm only going to microwave it, uh, but basically you tear the pouch two inches open to vent and heat on high for one minute, um, depending on your microwave, obviously. Use caution when opening to avoid spillage. Grab pouch from the sides as contents will be hot. Refrigerate unused portion. Do not use conventional uh, or toaster oven. Do not consume if pouch is leaking or swollen. All right, something on your mind. There you go. You can contact them there. Uh, BPA free, eco, uh, eco certified. All right, code. All right. Anyways, um, this is good till January 31st, 2025. This was purchased on November 16th, 2023. So... Um, that's a year and two months, right? A little over a year and two months. Here are the nutrition facts. 12 servings per container. So basically half a pouch per serving, right? Two thirds cup calories, hundred. Okay. We'll read per pouch, 340 calories per pouch, 17, uh, 13 grams of fat, 17%, six grams saturated fat, 30%, uh, 890 milligrams of sodium, 39%, 44 grams of carb, 16%, seven grams of fiber, 25%, 12 grams sugar, Includes 1 gram added sugar, 2%, 12 grams of protein, uh, 160 milligrams of calcium, 10%, 5 milligrams of iron, 30%, 830 milligrams of potassium, 20%. The ingredients are water, chickpeas, coconut milk, carrot, tomato paste, sweet corn, dried onion, less than 2% of sunflower oil and or canola oil and or soybean oil, chickpea flour, coriander powder, uh, salt, dried garlic, jaggery, brown, which is brown cane sugar, right? Spices, cumin, chili pepper, dried ginger, cardamom uh, powder, dried fen fenugreek leaves, natural coriander flavor, um, or sorry, cardamom, oh wait, cardamom powder, oh, <laughs> coriander flavor, right? Dried bell pepper, turmeric extract, um, and anything with the little crosses are organic it contains coconut so if you're allergic then be careful all right product has been processed in a facility that also processes milk cashews coconut wheat peanuts soy and sesame so if you're allergic then be very careful and that's where it was imported and manufactured all right let's go ahead and open this up um maybe i should have checked because this is kind of peeling up hopefully it wasn't opened by someone or used all right um so this tape how does this come out what, what is this pack oh, okay <laughs> it pulls out like that all right and here you have these little packets so let me make sure that there are all six in here just in case three four five six okay one two i don't know why they didn't just put them all standing up like this but okay so there's those five and the one we got out here so here is the packaging. All right, and you can see what it looks like. And these are packaged for individual retail sales. So if you own a shop, you can put these in your um, point of sale system. And yeah. All right, so grab pouch from the sides as contents will be hot. Refrigerate unused portion. Do not consume if it's leaking or swollen. Okay, so there's the grab uh, parts. parts. <laughs> 
right? So I think same exact information here. And yeah, all right, I'm gonna tear this open. Is it supposed to look like it's leaking through? Let's see. Okay, it's supposed to look like that. It looks kinda like stuff is leaking through. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna tear this open um, two inches across. And then, like it said, microwave for um, 60 seconds, a minute. So I'm going to tear this open. Okay. That's, oh, that's probably more than enough, but there we go. I'm going to microwave this for a minute, and I'll be back. And I'll probably get some rice to try it with as well. All right, I'm back. So got my bowl of rice, got this, and let's push this aside. All right. Anyways. Um, one thing's for sure, after Mike waving this, the house smells like an Indian restaurant, so we're gonna peel this open. Definitely smells like Indian food. Uh-oh, I splattered that on my leg. Alright, let's get that open. Where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna get the sauce on everything. Okay. Well, I guess we'll set it there. Alright, so, first thing, we're gonna kinda, I guess, mix it around just to make sure that... We're not going to have any issues with this being unevenly heated. Okay, so I'll get a scoop out and show you a close-up. Hold it over the bowl of rice. That's what that looks like. Seems pretty hot. Hmm. Pretty good. Need it with rice. Mm-hmm. Personally, I like the texture of meats and stuff in my food. So, this needs a little bit of chew. I would maybe add, like, tofu or... I bought some Indian cheese that was on sale earlier to try as well. I think that would add a nice texture to this. So maybe I'll chop up some of that and put that in and see how it tastes. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go get some of that cheese, mix it in, and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. All right, so here's the cheese. It's sitting in some hot water here. Okay, and give this a try. Okay, I'm going to put this... In with the rice to drain off the water at least some of it all right let's add this in there and now let's give it a try again all right hmm definitely better in my opinion all right So there you have it. Tasty bite, chickpea tikka masala. Definitely tastes like a nice Indian food. Indian dish. Curry or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah. Eat this with like rice, naan or whatever. Tastes good. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.